All right, go ahead. Coach, oh, you want to shove an opening statement? Just good to, to get the uh, monkey off of our back, so to speak, just get a win under our belt. Uh, you know, we knew this was a game that if we competed and played well, we could win. Uh, but we felt like that with most of our games, uh, you know, just little things. You know, in the previous games, we were just slipping up a little bit, not being able to put a full 40 minutes together. Today was a little different than our first four games. Usually we're a great first half team. Uh, I don't know which team played for Benedictine in the first <laughs> half today, but uh, hopefully the product we play, uh, showed the second half, that will be kind of indicative of what you'll see to come. Uh, defensively, you really, your team really locked down the post pretty much the whole game. I think their two leading uh, scores only combined for seven points. So was that really a, a main point of emphasis, was really trying to defend the rim? Yes. I mean, we talked about that the last two days of just that we were going to have to play great team defense today. We could not rely uh, on our post. We struggled at uh, Concordia Chicago with one-on-one -on -one in the post. And, you know, we just said it's going to take all five girls really knowing where their posts are. You know, their posts came in averaging, I think, 26 points to hold them to seven. That's that's quite a great effort for our kids. I'm going to show you had a huge second half scoring 12 points. Did you, uh, after the first half, did you kind of come out with the thought process of wanting to be more aggressive? Yes. Um, the first half, as you saw, was not, not too good. We weren't too aggressive. We weren't scoring. Um, so in the locker room, we just made it clear that we needed to come out and set a new tone and uh, attack the basket because um, they were kind of lanes were open and shots were open and it just we just needed to let the shots start to fall and that happened for us in the second half. I um, mean, coach, you used uh, I think you used 13 different people in the first half. Was there a kind of a, a reason behind that? We're still trying to figure everything out. You know, uh, I think our post rotation is pretty good right now. Uh, we would like to see Bree Hamilton. I need to get her in a little bit more. I think she can do some positive things. But that guard rotation is still up for grabs. We're still trying to, to find that one or two uh, young ladies that are going to step up in that role position and, and, and grab the bull by the horns. I thought uh, Enzo Ronaldo really did a nice job, provided a great spark for us. So we're still kind of, like I said, it's, it's a learning process. We have a lot of young kids just waiting to see who wants to step up. Coach, what did you, how did you adjust to not scoring in the first half? Because you, you guys didn't score for like the first like 10 minutes, and then what did you tell them in the locker room to change that around? Because they came out with like more energy, they were making baskets. <laughs> we just had a really nice, calm talk. Um, no, it just really challenged us, you know, because I thought we were playing to their level, you know, I, I just getting complacent, and they started to press us, and I didn't think we attacked it. I didn't think we were aggressive. We only got to the line, I want to say, four times in the first half, and we lead the conference in free throw attempts. And, you know, just once again talked about our zone offense. I knew if we could score some shots early that they would have to go man, and which would really help us out because we were a little bit more athletic than them. But just, you know, challenge them to execute the way we, we know how we can. And we definitely did not do that in the first half. Uh, Lakeland pretty much brought some sort of press all game, whether it was like a 1-3-1 look or bringing uh, someone up to pick up the point guard full court. Did you really expect to see them press pretty much all game? Uh, we knew that they pressed on made shots. I, you know, they hadn't pressed that much in the games that I've watched prior to, but, you know, it, it is what it is. And I, you know, we talked about in the locker room afterwards that the North Central game, such a wacky game, <laughs> their style of play, but it, I'm really glad that we played them because we're not going to see anything as helter-skelter as what we saw against them. And I thought we did. I know we had 17 turnovers. I, a lot of those, we, and we only had six second half. So once we settled down, I, I thought we did a nice job and, and handled their pressure well. Uh, Aurora coming up pretty soon. So it's team really excited to take on the rival here at home? Yeah, we are. We're, that's always a fun game for our kids, and there is a nice rivalry. And I, I think... You know, we're excited just to try to build on this. You know, we, we know that we're a better team than what our record states, but, you know, there's nothing we can do about the past. We're just really excited to, to come in Monday morning, have a great practice, and we get to play three games next week and hopefully pick up three wins. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.